Hello everyone. So in this video, I will talk about a D flip flop example and I want to see if the setup time will be satisfied in this specific example or not. So we have some specifications for this D flip flop. We know that the delay of the flip flop is five nanoseconds. The delay of my inverter, so this is the delay of the inverter, is two nanoseconds. And also the setup time is three nanoseconds. So the definition of the setup time is the amount of time before the active edge of the clock that input D, the data input, cannot change. Okay? So if um, we have a specific time uh, and set it up as a setup time, so for example, if we say that the T setup is equal to three nanosecond, it means that three nanosecond before the clock edge, before the active edge of the clock uh, happens, D cannot change anymore. So let's see if this is the case in this um, example or not. So as we all know, the state of the flip-flop will change due to the um, change in clock. So when the clock changes, the state of the flip-flop should change with respect to that change of the clock. And um, by the way, in this example, we do have a rising edge triggered flip-flop. It means that whenever the clock changes from zero to one, so the rising edge is um, known as a um, active edge, then the state of the flip-flop should change. So here is t equal to one nanosecond. You see that the clock changes from zero to one. So the state of the clock changes. Now we know that the state of q should also change. So the value of the Q after the active edge of the clock should be equal to value of the D before the active edge of the clock. So if you look at this example, what is the value of the D before the active edge of the clock, which is here, and we know that D is equal to zero. So after the active edge of the clock, Q should go to zero. But we also know that our flip-flop has a five nanosecond delay, okay? So it will take five nanoseconds for Q to go from one to zero because this is the delay of the flip-flop, okay? So here is T equal to six nanoseconds. So from one to six, we have five nanoseconds, which is the delay of our flip-flop. So Q will remain one until T equal to six and then it goes to zero, right? And then it should remain zero until the next active edge of the clock. All right, so basically this amount of time here is the flip-flop delay. Which is five nanoseconds. Now, if you want to specify the amount of D, you see that here in the flip-flop, D is equal to complement of Q, right? So whenever Q is equal to one, D should be equal to zero. So until here, everything, is, it, everything will remain the same. So D will remain zero because Q is one. Now, at t equal to six nanoseconds, that q changes from one to zero. We know that when q is equal to zero, which is this part here, d should go to one. But we also have this inverter on our way, which has a two nanosecond delay. So after t equal to six nanoseconds, it will take another two nanoseconds for input D to change to one. All right, so this amount of time here is, let me write it here, it is the inverter delay. 
which is 2 nanoseconds. Okay, now let's see that with this um, operation of flip-flop, let's see if the setup time has been satisfied or not. So setup time is 3 nanoseconds. It means that 3 nanoseconds before the active edge of the clock, D should not change anymore. So 3 nanoseconds before the active edge of the clock. It means 1, 2, 3. So from here on, so basically from T equal to 7 nanoseconds, T, D input should not change. For three nanoseconds but you see that after one nanosecond D is changing from zero to one so we can say that in this example the setup time not satisfied all right um, so this example was when the setup time was not satisfied. I will do another example in another video um, in which the setup time has been satisfied. Uh, and if you have any comments, you can leave it in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.